Hi everyone, my name is Gola T. Diaz, a third year student from Norso, currently taking up Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education major in Home Economics. So for this video, I will going to discuss about portfolio. So to start off, I have an introduction. Creating a portfolio is one of the most meaningful ways to assess learning. The idea of building and assessing a portfolio for each student feels daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Not only do you get to see the growth of students over time, but they do too. So what are portfolios? Portfolios are prominently used in art, architecture, modeling, photography, and journalism. They document proficiency, skill, style, and talent with examples of actual work. So in education, a portfolio is a purposeful, systematic process of collecting and evaluating student formative or summative assessments to document um, the progress toward attainment of learning targets. They are limited meaningful collections of work and include guidelines for the selection of contents, criteria for scoring, and student self-reflection. They are limited meaningful collections of work in a way that the content or uh, the content of the portfolio they have made is meaningful and relevant to the topic they assigned and include guidelines for the selection of contents and criteria for scoring and student self-reflection, um, they should have uh, uh, the, the criteria to that helps them to know their basis of on their work. So let's proceed to an effective portfolio. An effective portfolio should be purposeful. It should have a purpose. It is systematic and well organized. It is arranged because portfolio that is well organized is very good to look at. Contains meaningful work, meaningful um the the content of the portfolio is relevant to the topic, has pre established guidelines, guidelines that will serve as your basis in making the portfolio engages students in selection, evaluation, and reflection, and it motivates students. Port, um, making, an por making a portfolio is help students to be motivated in a way that they will show their skills, art, and their idea on what they have learned in the certain topic. So let's go to the characteristics of effective portfolios. The characteristics of effective portfolios are it should be clearly defined purpose aligned with learning targets, standards, and 21st century skills. So we can say that the certain portfolio is effective if it is aligned to the learning targets or standards that has been set. Systematically organized collection of students' work products systematically so it is well arranged it is well arranged and very good to look at high student engagement and motivation individualized student artifacts because portfolio is somehow showcasing individuals skills and arts they they have pre-established guidelines used to establish contents some students selection of contents and student self-reflection portfolio can also be a way in in reflecting students self because in making it in making a portfolio it is somehow helps students to be more open and engage in such things that they that their selves will be able to um, to be open also help students to express their feelings opinions or thoughts about the certain topic it has a clear and appropriate criteria for evaluating students product so it is also an important matter in considering an appropriate criteria 
because in this way students will will have a better understanding on what they want to do on their portfolio and lastly it conferences held between students and teachers to review and evaluate because portfolio is usually um happens or it is usually applied in an in an end in the end of the semester or the class so in this way the teachers as well as the students will know or will know what their weaknesses and strengths through making a review and evaluate their work so there are two major types of portfolio namely documentation portfolio and growth portfolio documentation portfolio it is to highlight the development and improvement of student learning during a given period of time it often contains a range of artifacts from brainstorm list to rough drafts to finished products so documentation portfolio shows students work that illustrate achievement while growth portfolio instead of only showing off their finished artwork students document and present artifacts to demonstrate their learning over time and it it it, um, it reveals change in students proficiency over time so as you can see in the screen i have here an an example of documentation portfolio on the other hand i have here a growth por portfolio an example of a growth portfolio so again the two types of portfolios are documentation portfolio and the growth portfolio so there are different types of portfolio the type documentation celebration the description of this is is, is show students best work and the examples are highest scored test highest graded paper and best project so it is a type of portfolio that the content of it is the score or the test that they meet a high score so the second type is the documentation compet competence description it shows levels of achievement reach in relation of learning targets and examples are mastery of each competency needed to be electrical work and the third type of portfolio is the documentation project it illustrates competence on completion of a single task and the examples are history unit final presentation and small small group project on identifying chemicals in a water sample and last is the growth the description is it shows improvement of students competence over time and the examples are examples of writing that shows differences in skills and drawing from the first part of the semester to the last week of the semester so those are the different types of portfolios namely documentation celebration documentation competence documentation project and growth so to sum up i have here a summary portfolio assessment is systematic and purposeful portfolio assessment includes student selections of contents and students self-reflection different types of portfolios include documentation celebration competence project and growth and portfolios integrate assessment with instruction by focusing on improvement and progress and lastly portfolios are adaptable adapt, adaptable to individual students so that's all for this video i hope that you have learned something see you in the next video bye